and then check through the archives. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. As one half of the 70s American detective duo Starsky and Hutch, Paul Michael Glazer was one of the most recognizable faces on television. He played Starsky alongside David Soul's Hutch for more than 90 episodes of the crime series. I love the way you've made yourself at home. It's nice. Thank you. His long <laughs> career had seen him uh, try his hand at directing. Now he's returning to acting with the new stage production of Fiddler on the Roof, directed by the Strictly Come Dancing judge. We know him well. You probably didn't know much about Craig Revelle, did, Hall, did I you? I did not. Does he say disaster to you much? No, no. As a matter of fact, I really like Craig. Yeah, yeah, no, we're not saying we, we don't like him. We, <laughs> we, we, got, we got along famously, and he's wonderfully talented, and he's got a great sense of humor. Yeah. And, uh, yes. It was a good experience. Well, let's see you. Rehearsing under his direction yes. for the role of Tevye. Um, Paul, <laughs> Paul is here now. <laughs> Very good morning to you. I love the way I just, you know, you've come into this studio and you just made yourself at home. It's, it's awesome. You've got your sketch pad here. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you, you've got to just, uh, you know, you just kind take, of... Uh, take control, isn't it? Yeah, it's not taking <laughs> control so much as just kind of relax. It's yes. lovely to see you. And, Thank uh, you. Yes, you, you look... If you are still a detective, you'd be very deep undercover with that. Very beard. deep. Yes. Yeah. How long did it take you to grow that beard, and how long have you had it for? Well, I, when I uh, decided to do this role, I start, stopped shaving. How long ago was that then? Oh. A week ago? No. It's, <laughs> yeah, I do a lot of pushing. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, I have to do something right off the bat. Go on. Go on it. Because I was put up to it by my cast. Oh, no. uh -oh. What? I have a wonderful, wonderful company. They're yes. fantastic. I, I love them all. They're superb. They're so supportive. They're so talented. You know, these are active musicians. Yes. They yes. play a musician. Some of them play up to five, six instruments on stage. So they said, uh, when I left them the other night, they said, oh, you're going to be on the morning show. I said, yes. They said, tell them, tell the, on air, on air, you say, are you feeling nice? I am going to be, we are watching you, Paul. Yes. Naked. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Yes. How lovely to see so, you, yes. too. All of you guys. I did it. I, I, I do, do you think you really are sitting there naked watching us? I don't know. Um, uh, working with Craig, though, uh, yes. who some of us know. and We were not naked, but go uh, yeah, ahead. Good. Some of us know and love who's just sitting where, where you are just a, a few days ago. You know his reputation. I yes, mean, yes, 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 I do. Is he, when he's directing, is he as, as strict and firm as he appears to be when he's a judge? Well, I've never seen him be a judge, but oh. he's not strict and he's not, you know, he's, 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 he's a sweetheart. He doesn't say, mm. we need more hip action from you, darling. Well, or once in a while he'll stuff. say that. Mm. You know, once in a while he'll say that. Mm. And I say, how much, darling? <laughs> 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 um, so tell us, and fit on, why, why particularly be in that for you? Well, you know, it's an ex extraordinary musical. Mm. It's extraordinary. It's uh, it's a, it's been around for 50 years. Yes. Which I keep saying, well, if it's 50 years, uh, we're due for a revival. Mm. Like in the West End. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's a wonderful musical. It's traveled all over the world. It's been translated into many languages. And it's one of these classic musicals that has just big universal themes that everyone seems to relate to. And uh, music that is just touches your heart and it can be fun it can be uh, uh, moving um, and it's great and then the character of Tevia who I play is a uh, he's such a he's an everyman you know and one of the things I love about him is he gets to be so many things he gets to be whimsical he gets to be sad he gets to be tragic he gets to be funny he gets to be serious he gets to be stupid <laughs> and uh, so you know it's a when, when I was offered the role I had had a point in my work because I was I've been writing for a while, and I hadn't acted for a while, and I thought, you know, I really want to do this. Mm -hmm. I really want to do. And it. it's a return for you because you were in the film. That's right. Version, weren't that's you? right. That's right. But not as Tevye, as a slightly younger character. Yeah, as the revolutionary Perchik, who was like probably what Tevye was 
when he was a young yeah. man. Yeah. So it was familiar territory to you? Well, it's familiar in that uh, I know where Malagaritz is outside of Zagreb where we filmed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, and tell us, you, you, you came in, which is really interesting, with your sketchbook. So is that sort of downtime for you? Is that how you relax? Or yeah, whenever I go, I just sketch. Do I just keep sketching. Do you mind if we have a look? Oh. It's a, it's a, it's camera, these camera, are what ideas six, for a book yeah. that you've written. And I, 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 it's my second book. Mm -hmm. I wanted to mention also my first book. This book is about a crippled crow, a, uh, so a one-legged seagull, and a, and a randy parrot. <laughs> is it? I was about to it say, sounds like the last a Monty parrot, Python bit, thought, is it a sketch? children's story? Well, it is. You know, you know, I write to the child in all of us. Yeah. It's a story about friendship and the ecology and yeah. stuff like and that. And is that something you, did you, did that, you did that this morning? That yeah, I told that this morning. But the, my first book, which I need to mention, uh -huh. is called Cristalia and the Source of Light, spelled C-H-R-Y-S-D-A-L-L-I-A. -L -L right. Cristalia and the Source of Light. And I wrote this book as a screenplay 13 years ago because I wanted to share with people what I'd learned about loss and helplessness. Yeah, because of which, the death of your, uh, yeah, your wife. I've had my share. Everyone has their share. And so I wrote this book, and it's uh, it's uh, very much written in the tradition of the classic tradition of Alice in Wonderland, Wizard of Oz. It's a fantastic Christmas story. It, 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 people love it. It's marketed nine to sixteen years of age, but I wrote it for the whole family. I wrote it so you could take it down from the shelf and read aloud to and with the family, uh, uh, you know, uh, at Christmas or any time. And it's a story of a fourteen-year-old girl. This is fast. It's a fourteen-year-old <laughs> girl. You, you're good. You've got a minute. You're good. I, how much? A minute. A minute. Fourteen-year-old girl. Oh, damn you! Fourteen-year-old <laughs> girl, and her nine-year-old brother's the last Christmas with the mom is not well. Last Christmas in the house because the bank's oh. kicking them out. The girl's angry, bitter, only believes in what she sees, touch. She, she, they find themselves on a journey through an underground medieval kingdom, where everything and everybody is made of minerals and crystals in search of the source of light. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. It's yeah. wonderful. And very quickly, 30 seconds now, you have to tell us about, you're going to some interesting places. Oh, that's 30 have, seconds you, for the whole day, have you, then, no, then no, I have leave? You, have you toured, <laughs> have, have you been to these places before theaters rounding? Stop <laughs> this. <laughs> this is yeah. a, I know John Bludge is going to sing us a romantic song in just a second, but really. Well, I that's heard cold, about that. <laughs> We're going to warm you up. Okay, well, you're going go to all ahead. sorts of interesting places, but we'll, they'll be on the website, so we'll just have to help you abandon later. Paul, thank you I'm very much. It's a great you, pleasure. It's all right. No, thank it's all right. We're not married. It's all right. You just carry on. It's fine. <laughs> Fiddler on the Roof is currently on tour in the UK and Ireland until next April. Yeah, so. that really is all time we've got for time. We've got, yes, whatever. Susanna is here tomorrow. <laughs> we'll be joined She's by so Michael Morpurgo. Goodbye. John Legend is here to end the show on a more respectable note with his song, All of, All of Me, from us. <laughs> Goodbye. Here's respectable. John.